Hi, I'm Carl, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Many of you know that I do a fair amount of videos on rotary tools and rotary tool accessories. And a few years ago, I did a let's see, get it closer. Did a uh, video on this, which is a door planer, which means if this is your door, you just run your planer along the side right here to take off a little bit. Now I think it goes like a 64th at a time if I remember correctly. But that was a very popular video. Notice the other day when I was looking at the Ryobi tools site. I'm a big fan of Ryobi because most homeowners on the average use Ryobi tools is the perfect tool for them. Now if you're doing construction work you might want to upgrade a little bit, but for average homeowner, Ry Ryobi is probably one of the best deals on the market. So, I was at the Ryobi website, and I noticed this. This is almost the exact same tool as this, made by Ryobi, but it's bigger, of course. But, you don't need a rotary tool. You can put it on a drill. Let me unbox this. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Rearrange the camera, I'll be right back. Here we go, we got our Roby, Roby, listen to me, Ryobi wood door trimmer, model number a99 DT01. Hmm. Let me turn this around so I can read it a little bit better. Fixes your sticking door. Unhinged solution. Door removal not necessary. Which is very similar to the Dremel type that I showed you earlier. Now, it took a while for Home Depot to get these in stock. I waited about three weeks for them to show up, but I'm sure you can order them from the website and have it shipped to your store. It was $19.97. I'm just going to say $20. Let's go ahead and open this thing up. I'll show you what this thing does. This is one of those items. Use it once and it'll pay for it. Got a dull knife here. Dull razor blade. Let's just um, put it down right here. There we go. There we go. Get this thing open. Yep. It is time to change this blade out on here. So. Slice this down right here. There we go. Here's the instruction manual. Now I'm already pretty familiar with this type of tool, so I'm just going to put that aside. Let's just take this and throw that over there in the trash can. I'll keep that. Okay, here's the overall tool. Let me fold up this blade and put it away. Overall tool. Pretty simple design, right? Well, there we go. So, let's hook this thing up. I don't have a Ryobi drill, but I have a heart, which is the sister to the Ryobi. Made by the same company, TTI. There we go. Loosen this up. I want to just simply put this in here. Then I'm going to tighten this up. There we go. 
easy enough. Okay, I'm going to do it this way. So, what you have in here is a spiral. It's almost like a drill bit, but it's not a drill bit. And when you pull the trigger, it rotates just like a a uh, planer. You know those big three, four hundred dollar or higher planers. They have one. It's a Delta, not Delta, Dewalt model. But like I said, pull the trigger. And the actual planer part turns. Let me show you how easy this is. Get my piece of wood set up here. Now we are going to say this as your door. This 2x4 is going to be your door. I'm trying to get this clamp set up here. Of course it's not cooperating. There we go, it's pulling the wrong part of the handle. Let's get this clamped onto here. And I am going to there we go. This is going to be your door. Adjust the camera a little bit more to this direction. I'm trying to loosen up my tripod here. There we go. Tighten it back up. Zoom back in a little bit. Here we go. Okay, this 2x4, we're going to say that's your door. Let me get some safety glasses on, right here. And, let's see here. Here is a magic marker. Check this out. Now I'm holding it like this. Trigger hand, but you're going to place this on the door, turn it on, Turn up my speed a little bit. Just stay there. Takes off a little bit at a time. Door trimmer. Pretty simple concept right here. Let me show you again. I'm gonna mark this up with the magic marker. Get this ready. Just gonna set it on my door. See how easy that works. Let's do another pass on here.
very easy process. One other feature on here, I took this off of the tool so I can show you this. Right here, you can tell how these are cut at an angle, 45 degrees or 90 degrees. That is so you can set it right here on the side and do a chamfer on your door or your 2x4s or whatever. So, if only your edge of your door sticks but not the center, there you go. Easy process. There we go. Now let me grab the owner's manual. I threw it over here somewhere. Let's see how much it takes off in one pass. If it says it on here, I'm sure it will. Da -da -da, here we go. Uh, trying to get to the English part. It says, uh, the trimmer will fit onto door edges with widths of one to three eighths to one to three quarter inches. And, uh, somewhere it's got to say how much it takes up. Oh, each pass removes one thirty second inch of material. So, here we go. Here's a little bit of information. So, if your doors are sticking, can't go wrong with this. Use it one time, it'll pay for itself. I'm going to say it's a $20 tool. Home Depot, Ryobi. Right here is where you can adjust the, the width of it. So anyway, pretty self-explanatory. Easy to use tool. Pretty simple. Not much you can say about it, but other than it works with no issues. So Save yourself a lot of headaches. Save yourself from pulling out your little hand plane. Save yourself from taking the door off the hinges and sanding it down. Leave your door on the wall, on the hinge. Use this. Take off one thirty-second of an inch at a time until your door closes like it should. My name is Carl. I do appreciate